Afghanistan's record on women's rights will be scrutinized later today by the United Nations in Geneva. It comes at a time of growing concern that the achievements made by Afghan women after the fall of the Taliban are being reversed. We've been to meet one woman who's at the front line of the campaign to improve women's lives in the country. My name is Nadia Hanifi. I'm 28 years old and I'm the presenter of an Afghan television show called The Mask. We talk about problems affecting women, family problems, inheritance issues for women who've lost their husbands, forced and underage marriages, rape and human trafficking. Once we had a woman who put the mask on, but she couldn't speak. She just cried. I said to her, think of the chair in the studio as the first stage in your resistance. Stand up and use this platform to raise your fist for the first time. We are broadcasting in a traditional society where women are not allowed to go to work, to raise their voices, or do anything except stay at home and cook. Most people in Afghanistan are illiterate. We need to educate them. Men need to know about women's rights. Women need to know about their own rights. I am very worried about the re-emergence of the Taliban. No Afghan woman and especially no women's rights activists would welcome them returning to power. How did you end up in the shelter? I have five sisters and two brothers. I'm here because our brothers used to beat us up and abuse us. Sometimes I feel very lonely working in this field. Society thinks what I'm doing is against Islam. At my university, they mock me for being a woman's activist. Even my classmates laugh at me. Why? Because they don't understand about the rights of women. But as an Afghan woman, I still have lots of hope. If society supports us, we women have lots of good ideas to offer.